So this is the beginning of my little summer project. It's a grapevine house that I've kind of discovered by my own self. I saw my grandpa's place and he had this grapevine and it went over a couple like a clothesline and I thought that was pretty neat. So you can sit under this eventually and just eat grapes like a king. Uh, I tilled out, I had to make this ground from, you know, from the hay field. So I just used a regular tiller, planted grass seed on it today and threw down some straw so the grass would grow up nice. Of course, don't forget to drag it so that they, or drag, drag a chain across it or something, get that growing good. Um, the grapevines I ordered online, these are red that have no seeds in them, so it should be very tasty. I just bought some treated lumber at Menards and then some uh, fence wire here, 16 foot long, 50 inch tall, quarter inch thick galvanized fences and I just, of course, they're very flexible. So I made it 14 foot this way, so you had this extra uh, give for the top for the roof and then it had a little extra there at the end. I got to just grind off with a grinder, you know, very simple. Just make sure your thing is square and I just use galvanized um, half inch thick bolts to put them in each way, just real simple. And it couldn't be more simple. And then and I'll level out this inside, put down some like red one foot by one foot brick you could buy it like Menards or somewhere and uh, should be nice and level in there. And the grapes will come down from the ceiling and then just eat them. And then you get this, uh, I did this at the end here so you have a nice view when you sit in there of that. So that's my grape house plan that I kind of brainstormed and came up with this summer as a, and did it over about two months, nice and easy and uh, slow, but it wasn't too hard at all. Uh, once it's all done, of course, it's easy to say that. So that's what you should do if you got an extra little couple hours uh, in the summertime and some money for those grapes and those posts and wires.